Hey guys, welcome back to another video and uh, today I'll just be going over how to time remap clips. So uh, as you can see here, this is a montage I'm actually making for a client and uh, if you're watching, uh, here, here's kind of a preview but um, yeah, I'll be doing it on some new clips that I have not put time remapping for you. Okay, so these are his clips. Let's just put one here and I'm just going to show two ways of doing this. So first. So this is where the kill is, so, so, so let's just cut it down to that length. Let's find where he kills the dude. His clips are one minute long, so it's going to be a little harder to find. Okay, so he gets the kill here and... Let's just up the gain, because his volume is a little bit bitched, so let's just... Oh, that's really delayed. So here we can see, let's just go back to where the ammo drops and then go. So let's place the marker where the kill is. As you can see the audio is pretty off, so, uh, but either way, let's just go one, two, three. And then once we're here, we can cut this. And then this is how you do it if you have my uh, Twixter preset. So I made a pretty good one. So here's just a Twixter. And this is the first way if you buy my pack, right? It's it's uh, not very expensive. We lowered the price down to uh, four US dollars, so uh, it's more affordable for you guys. And yeah, uh, if you need to, if you want to get better at editing, and you think that a good pack could help you, uh, that's probably the one for you. We have a lot of good presets that are similar to the ones T Mill has in his pack and uh, Kenny has in his pack, so. Yeah, we pretty much, our pack is very similar to a lot of those pro packs, so, and it's cheaper. So, um, I really think it's a good decision to buy. Now, I'm not trying to force you here, but, you know, just help me out here. Um, I'm, I'm broke, so, it'd be great if you could, um, besides, um, me editing montages for people, if you could support the channel by, uh, getting the pack, I promise you it'll be worth it. And we update it pretty much every, like, I don't know, like a week or two. So, yeah, just uh, stay tuned. And the link will be in the description if you're interested. So, now as you can see, it's pretty much done rendering. The only reason it took so long is because I had to render some other stuff with it too. So, there you go. So, and if you watch it back... Uh, now, let's just align the audios, because... Um, let's unlink for both of these. You want to select and then you want to press unlink. And then, so, where the actual shot is, is around here, right? So, just want to move the audio over a bit. It's a little far. Okay, let's just place a marker. Oh, place a marker here. And let's just drag this over and align it with the clip. So, and as you can see, it, it looks like how like those pros like Nami and um, well, how pretty much all good editors do it. And I really like Twixter because like it, the slowing down animation is really really smooth. So yeah, be sure to uh, try it out. Uh, and it's really easy to get cracked. So. Yeah, uh, let's move on to the next clip he has got, so... Okay, this is better. Uh, so pretty much what you want to do, right, is you want to make sure these time remapped clips are mainly, right, mainly, uh, shotgun clips. Because shotgun, uh, shots work best with time remapping, because it makes it look a lot better. If it's just an AR shot, it really doesn't look that much better. So, knowledge point uh, doing for a um, AR shot. So, uh, the other way is similar to how you set it up like the first one, right? Find where he shoots a shot, uh, mark it, and then we want to jump forward. Well, let's, let's, so a lot of people ask me this. Um, you go to clip keyframes, and then you go to time remapping and speed. And then you go one, two, three, and then you can press control and then click here, 
Actually, no, let's zoom in. I don't think I actually got that. Okay. Yeah, here. So, yeah, make sure it's three frames ahead, and then go two, and then drag this so that it's here. And pull this up to like, I, I like 200%. So, and then we make a marker here, and then pull this to uh, two as well. And then we drop this all the way down to 50. And I usually recommend that you like drag this thing higher, so. Yeah, and the good thing about this is you can just drag it up and down, so. Now sometimes it glitches like that, uh, so you just want to go in and then carefully do it. Yeah, so uh, this is how you do it without tweaks. As you can see, it's a, li a little more choppy, which is why I don't really like it as much. But uh, yeah, so same effect, but just not as great, I'd say. So yeah, so uh, that's probably gonna be it for this video. Uh, I hope you learned something. Also, just to finish up, if you want, set this a frame blending, uh, and then render it out so it's a lot smoother. So this time the render is a lot faster because it's not using Twixer. And you can also shorten it if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So yeah, just use a sixteen rule. You can you can uh, kind of explore with yourself too, but like I like doing sixteen, and uh, yeah, I hope you learned something from this video, and that's gonna be it from me.